What's going on, everybody? So uh, I'm sitting in this vehicle, and I want to show you guys real quick how to set up um, an, an easy base map. Uh, we'll go into a couple things here. If you have bigger injectors or need to set those up, along with map sensors, because those seem fairly common to do on, um, on boosted builds. I'm recording off my laptop, so if the audio sucks, I will adjust with the next videos. Uh, I'll get an external mic and so on. So as I said, we are inside of a vehicle and the key is in the off position. I'm going to turn the key to the on position and you're going to notice over here to your upper left, you got your lightning bolt and the record button that fired up. Uh, you can press F9 to record and you can press F10 to start and stop the data log, which ultimately is going to connect your computer to the S300. So if we click the lightning bolt here, you're going to see nothing really changed here. What I tell people to ensure that you're connected, and you can set up your graphs anyway, but simplest thing for me to do is look at the TPS, step on the pedal, and you can see it moving. That means we're connected. Uh, in some instances, occasions, uh, the lightning bolt will light up, but it still will not be connected uh, to S300. It seems like if the it's, if the car is on and then you unplug your USB, it seems like there's a little bit of an issue. So just ensure you're connected. Uh, this is a brand new S300. So I have to register it. I'm testing it out for a customer. We're going to go over here. And ultimately, we're going to register it. We'll do this really quick. And you'll see that we are registered. So, let's get to the base map. Go back to the screen. We'll minimize that. We'll minimize that. This is how, this is what I recommend. You can do it a different way if you'd like. Is what it is. Start with new. And we want to start with a clean slate. We want to start with the ITR stock everything. Don't worry if your vehicle is this or that or whatever. This will get you started and, and going. This is just a base map. This is just to start your car, get it running, ultimately take it to a tuner. Okay, so we'll open this up. And my tables have disappeared. Okay. There's the tables. You can see the tables and whatnot. So basically what you want to do, though, is we're going to go in the parameter tab. And my parameter tab is hiding. Nope, that is not it. There you go. They're all the way down here. So we're going to open up the parameter tab. And like I said, and I mentioned earlier before, basically, uh, and on, on setups, bigger setups, whatever, I'm going to show you how to do the fuel injectors. Now, Stock injectors we're gonna we're gonna leave at 240. We're talking about a Honda. That's usually what these cars come with. Now, if you got, let's say you got uh, your injectors are a thousand cc. You can click that, and if you don't have uh, an aftermarket map sensor, pretty much you could start the car at that point. One thing you want to do, and if you are unfamiliar with it, you can Google it really quick. Right here, this is an important step: the dead times. Most good injectors will come with a little pamphlet or flyer or whatever, or they'll have them on their website with the dead times. If you go back over here and you look over here to minimize this, these are the dead times. Uh, you also might hear or see this be called uh, injector latency. Um, uh, companies have different terms. It's the same pretty much uh, principle. So you click on this and you'll see these number change. Let's just say we set it for injector dynamics, 1000 cc's. All the numbers have changed. And this ultimately, if you don't do this step or if your injectors don't come with dead times, if you got, you know, injectors from like, let's say eBay, um, this little step right here will help your car idle. 
um, run good on, let's say, cold start, partial throttle, uh, etc. So you might not notice uh, wide open throttle being an issue, but all the other stuff will be little minor issues with this stuff if you don't have the correct settings. Um, basically, this is inputting on how injector dead time is how long it takes the injector to open once it sees the signal from the, um, the ECU. Another thing to consider, though, the things that do affect dead times, of course, is the voltage and fuel pressure. Fuel pressure will also infect, uh, affect that reading. Um, I'll, do, I'll try to do a real, uh, I'm on my computer recording, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to, but I'll try to, I'll try to edit in a, a dead time picture in between here. So that's how you set up your injectors. Now, let's say you got an aftermarket map sensor. You go to here. Pretty simple. Most guys will be running the Honda a map sensor. Uh, we sell our own map sensor, which is equivalent to the Honda one, uh, or Omni Power, Power, or you might find another brand or whatever. So you click on that. Leave all this stuff down here below. Um, and I'll, I'll go in a little bit more in detail on just a couple other things here. Um, you can click under if you want to change your rev limiter. Really, really simple. Um, I recommend changing it up here. Go into each gear. You can change it, what you want it to rev to. Rev to. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing and messing around with, I don't recommend changing any of this stuff down below here. Um, especially if you're... You, you, I recommend having it on the dyno for that point. Uh, one other thing I will cover really, really quick, because it's kind of the basic stuff and a lot of people ask or want to know, is VTEC. So you go over here with the VTEC and VTEC enabled. Now, most vehicles, most swaps, they won't have the pressure switch, so you can disable that. Uh, you can just also disable the spool air check valve if you'd like. Um, and then down here is going to be where you want to change your VTEC settings. Um, your one setting is going to be basically for if you're wide open throttle, and then the other setting is going to be if you're partial throttle. Um, if you're partial throttle, you don't want VTEC coming in as early. You don't want to be on the highway partial throttle and continuously be in VTEC, um, unless you do. Then you can change it to the same settings. Um, other thing right here to keep in mind and keep in note here, um, and you can also change the throttle. So if you are partial throttle, let's say you're 30%, VTEC won't engage. Minimal speed. If you're having a VSS issue, uh, which is a vehicle speed sensor, and your mile per hour is not reading, uh, I recommend getting a fix, number one. But if you set this down to zero, uh, VTEC should work like it wants to. But also keep in mind that when you set that to zero and you rev the car sitting at idle, VTEC will also want to engage at idle. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Minimum temperature, don't recommend ever changing it. If you're not hitting the minimal temperature, fix whatever's wrong with your car. Um, and that's pretty much it. The next steps I will go into, um, which I'll actually cover one more thing. Uh, TPS, very simple. You got to be connected to the car. Minimal reading is when your foot is off the pedal. I'm off the pedal right now. You can see it changed. And then I'll hit the uh, pedal all the way down 100%. And you see that changed as well. Uh, disable the TPS error. Don't recommend doing that. Uh, if you're having a TPS error issue, get it fixed. Um, fix whatever's wrong with it. So that's the basic stuff right there. I'll do a couple other videos. Like I said, if the audio sucks, I apologize. I'll work on that. First time recording through the laptop. We'll go from there. If anybody has any questions, of course, as always, either comment down below, shoot me an email, message us on Facebook, or the phone number will be listed as well. Thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of the day.